Hello everyone, Dr. Zia Tahir here. This video tutorial is solution of problem 1.128 of chapter 1 Fundamentals of Vibration from Mechanical Vibrations by S.S. Rao, 5th edition. The statement of the problem is the shell and tube heat exchanger shown in figure 1.125a can be modeled as shown in figure 1.125b for simplified vibration analysis. Find cross-sectional area of the tube so that the total stiffness of heat exchanger exceed a value of 200 into 10 to 8 per 6 newton meter in axial direction. So in axial direction, its stiffness should exceed 200 mega pass mega newton per meter and 20 into 10 to raise per 6 newton meter radian in tangential direction so like as so this is when it's talking about tangential direction so it's mean that it is for torsion and assume that the tube have the same length and cross sectional and spaced uniformly so there are 76 steel tubes and we need to find diameter or cross sectional area of the tubes so so in axial direction uh, equivalent stiffness of all tubes is 76 uh, tubes is 200 and all these tubes are connected as springs in parallel so when the springs are in parallel so simply we add stiffness of each spring so if n is the number of tubes so then k equivalent is n into k so with k is a axial stiffness of each tube and similarly for it says that tangential direction or torsional stiffness is 20 into 10 to 8 per 6 and then torsional stiffness of each tube is simply kt equivalent over n which is number of steel tubes to start uh, with this problem we need to first estimate a relationship between outside diameter and thickness of the tube so on internet so you can simply say that standard steel size standard steel tube size in millimeter and you will get the uh, engineering toolbox so in engineering toolbox you have different schedule tag standard access so like as here you can see that it Schedule 10 and then standard is STD or ST and then extra strong is XS. So let's say for the standard one, for the standard uh, steel tubes, so their outside diameter starts from 10.3 millimeter, then 13.7, 14, so it keeps on increasing. And for, for smaller tubes, the diameter is around 15% of outside diameter and for a larger diameter tube it is like 5%. So from the standard steel tubes, so for standard steel tubes outside diameter D outside uppercase D let's say here is 5 to 15 percent sorry thickness of tube t is 5 to 15 percent of outside diameter d uppercase so here i am assuming that thickness of the tube is 10 percent of outside diameter so 10 percent of outside diameter so let's say t is equal to 0.1 into d so when the thickness is one percent of the outside diameter 
So then I'll have inside diameter as 0.8 of outside diameter. So remember that this is like it varies from even less than 5%. So, but like on roughly from here, the thickness is like from 15% uh, to 5%. Uh, but like for these one, the standard one, it is even less than 5%, but I'm just giving, using as a guess. So for axial direction, K is equal to K equivalent over N. So K equivalent is 200 into 10 raised by 6 over 76. And the formula from elasticity from here, F over X, it is K in axial direction so it is ea over l and for most of streams modulus of elasticity e is 210 gigapascal so in this one e is e we are i am using as 200 into 10 uh, 200 gigapascal so that k it says in the question so exceed a value that total stiffness exceed a value of 200 so in this case then that k should be k should be greater than e a sorry like k should be greater than that 200 value so k should be greater than 200 into 10 raised by 6 over 76 or ea over l should be greater than 200 into 10 raised by 6 over 6 or i can say that area area should be greater than 200 into 10 raised by 6 into length of the tube over 76 into modulus of elasticity and for a hollow tube area is pi by 4 d outer square minus d inner square so here uh, pi by 4 d square minus d square should be greater than that expression and d here is 8%, 80% of inside diameter is 80% of outside diameter. So here I can substitute inside diameter as 0.8 d and then 1 minus 0.8 squared it is 0.36 d square and it should be greater than expression. So now I can make D as a subject. So 200 into 10 to the power 6 times by length of the tube, which is 2. And that 4 is divided here. So on the other side and being multiplied and 76 into E is the modulus of elasticity, which is 200 gigapascal and then divided by pi divided by 0 0.036. So D square comes as 8.864. 1 into 10 to the power minus 5 and then d is greater than 9.4149 10 to raise power minus 3 meter so d should be greater than 9.4 millimeter so that is the diameter for axial direction so similarly i can calculate the diameter for tangential direction or for torsion next for tangential direction kt kt is equal to kt equivalent over n so in tangential direction it is 210 raised per 6 newton meter per radian so kt is kt equivalent over n and kt from torsion equation t over theta is jg over l and then kt must be greater than 20 into 10 to the power 6 over 76 or jg over l must be greater than 20 into 10 to the power 6 over 76 so a is 20 into 10 to the power 6 so l is being multiplied with the numerator and g is being divided with the denominator and g in this case for most of type of steel it is 79.3 gigapascal and then so j is equal to for hollow tube pi by 32 outer diameter minus inner diameter so pi by 32 outer diameter minus inner diameter squared so pi by 32 outer diameter d raised per 4 minus 0 0.8 into d raised per 4 so 
1 minus 0 0.8 into d raised power 4 comes as that comes as 0 0.5904. So then further d raised power 4 that 32 is being divided so it's being multiplied with the numerator and pi and 0 0.5094 is being divided uh, so they are being divided there or being multiplied with the denominator. So now d4 comes as 114.506 into 10 to the power minus 6 and d is 103.444 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters or d is more than d should be greater than 100 milli 100 millimeter. So now this design for 100 millimeter as you count that so in this actual figure so there are 10 tubes so for that 10 tubes so only the outside diameter is like so that is so just outside diameter of the tubes it comes more than one meter so the design based on these limitation is not practically possible and one of the possible reason is that a higher value of that higher value of stiffness which is required in tangential direction so now that is the outside diameter and then from this outside diameter its area can be calculated so because for axial stiffness diameter is 9.4 millimeter and for the original stiffness it is 104 millimeter so when i reviewed that uh, solution of this problem in the solution manual so they take it as 1 centimeter or 10 millimeter with the thickness of 10 percent so it makes sense but there is a, some mistake in calculating value of g and the values which are provided here so they are not correct so according to my experience but i can see that this design is not practically possible so either the requirement of that value of torsional stiffness that should be lowered or otherwise area this area of cross section of shell it need to be increased so the nearest value for standard for standard tubes it comes as 114.3 because that 101.6 is lower than that so 114.3 is the nearest value of outside diameter and then for standard tube its inside diameter is 8.56 so i can use that value here so from engineering toolbox i just picked that corresponding uh, for standard tubes it is 1143 and then and then for standard tube the uh, thickness is 6.02 so diameter 114.3 thickness is 6.02 so inside diameter comes as 102.26 so area of each tube comes as 2.0478 into 10 to the power 3 millimeter square or 2.047 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter square so that is what required find the cross sectional area of tubes so for each tube it is 2.04 and then for 76 tubes it will be multiplied with 76 so now as is looking uh, from looking here so area of 76 tubes comes as 155.635 into 10 raised power minus 3 and area of the shell cross sectional area of the shell comes as 785.398 so it is more than the area of its uh, tubes so now even for that diameter so and having an arrangement in there in which the heat transfer is effective so still that tube can be used so that is the overall solution 
of this problem and mind like minded like the solution in solution in the uh, solution manual is not correct thank you very much for watching